How do we reconstruct dinosaurs if we don't have a lot of fossil material from them? Some dinosaurs have very few fossils or specimens to their name. So how do we turn something like this into this? Simple. Phylogenetic bracketing. This is a system used very often in the field of paleontology. Essentially, if you have enough of an animal to understand what it's closest in relation to, you can fill in the blanks using those other animals. Take my favorite dinosaur, Nanooksaurus. Nanook has very few fossils to its name, but we have enough to know it was a tyrannosaur. Using that, we can get stunning reconstructions, like this, that use things like T. rex, Tarbosaurus, and Despletosaurus as reference. However, there can be flaws in this method. Take Jurassic Park 3's Spinosaurus. At the time, this is what we thought Spinosaurus looked like, because we had been reconstructing them using phylogenetic bracketing and Suchomimus and Baryonyx as the reference. But these days, we understand that the real Spinosaurus had a much longer tail and shorter back limbs. These were things that were missed when it was reconstructed, because we didn't have a tail or leg bones back then and had assumed that the three were more related than they actually were. 